<laughs> Hello, my lovely cupcakes. Elsie Rowe here, and welcome back to our lovely show. Also, if you're new or this video is old, we'll find out. Hi, I don't usually post twice a week. <laughs> this is a fun little thing that I will be exploring for September, and we'll see how far I go. <laughs> Hello everybody, Elsie Rowe here, and welcome to our show. I know I already said that, but why not? On today's episode, I will be hosting our first ever wrap up. So a wrap up is where I will be, where a project is finished, and I am gonna tell you guys a little bit about it. I'll tell you about the context, the contents of the project, some background stuff, and I will express my feelings, because I have so many feelings on this situation. <laughs> so today, we will be talking about Time to Talk. So Time to Talk is a Five Nights at Freddy's fan comic that I've written and have produced here on the channel. For, I hope produce is the right word? I'm not sure. Time to Talk focuses specifically around Scott Fazbear, phone guy, and Golden Freddy. The two of them together have a rather intense conversation that I'll explain in a minute. This comic started back in October of 2023 and just ended in August of 2024. That feels so weird to say out loud. I want you all to know that. <laughs> I am very excited to tell you guys about this. <laughs> so before we dive into the main beef of the show, I'm going to be throwing around a lot of names and a lot of content. So we are diving in deep to the comp to the LC row comics lore. It's going to be really fun. <laughs> so the big thing to know is there's also going to be spoilers for two of the other main comic projects that I have on the channel. So the first one will be so the first one, the first big, like, so actually English is hard. English is very hard. <laughs> so there will be some minor spoilers for other projects on my channel, specifically for the comic called The Adventures of Bonnie the Baby Bunny, Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie, two different comics, and Time to Talk. Those three will have a lot of spoilers. Well, not a lot, but I'll be talking about them a lot. There's going to be minor spoilers. There's going to be a lot of things. I'm going to tell you guys all about them. So... I am going to tell you guys a little bit about each one first. So, The Adventures of Bonnie the I need to come up with shorter titles. Fun fact, I am really, I, writing titles is the one thing I've always struggled with. I've been writing stories since I was like six, seven. My mom, ha I don't know why, she, I don't know why, but my mom recently, she factually found that I, there's still a little spiral notebook of my first like story that I wrote when I was a kid. We still have it. And I'm like, please get rid of it. There's so many spelling errors and everything is wrong. <laughs> but I've been writing for ages and this is still something that I'm working on. I'm not good with titles. <laughs> I like doing long titles. I, I, I either do too long or too short. Titles are just, titles are not, they're not easy for me. <laughs> But um, <laughs> someday I will be good at titles. I'll figure that out. <laughs> that or <I'm> a <laughs> But um, oh my gosh, where was I? Yes, I'm going to tell you guys about the adventures of Bonnie the Baby Bunny. Let's call it ABB for short or AB to the third. Make my life a little easier. <laughs> so ABB is a comic about Bonnie the Baby Bunny. So Bonnie the animatronic, the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic, before he was an adult, when he was a kid. In this comic, we get to meet, we get to see how he actually met a certain yellow rabbit who is very well known in the FNAF world. We also get to see some little side adventures with the baby Fazbear crew. So Freddy, Foxy, and Chica. We get to see them grow up, at least a little slice of their life growing up. Then next, so that's book one or season one, whichever is kind of easier to understand. Just know they're all connected. That's season one. Season two or book two would be Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie or SBRB for short. So SBRB is the continuation of that storyline. In that one, we kind of get the aftermath of a bit of a fight that was going on that finished the adventures A, B, A, B to the third. <laughs> A, B squared. <laughs> A, B, okay. A, B, A, B to the third power, I guess. <laughs> I'm making this more confusing. Spring Bonnie's red bow tie kind of went on pause a little bit. 
mostly because after chapter eight, we got a little offshoot story. That offshoot story is time to talk. So time to talk is about in the same timeline. So it's all one timeline because I'm not Marvel. Um, but actually, you know, never mind. Um, there might be multiple timelines someday. We'll figure that out when we get there. But Time to Talk takes it in the same place. It's kind of an offshoot of, I think, chapter eight of SBRB, I think, where essentially two, main, two characters leave the main cast to go have their own conversation. Those two characters being Scott Fazbear, phone guy, and Golden Freddy. They have a they have an intense conversation that leads to a discussion that leads to a fight. And don't worry, they resolve and kind of make things up. Poe is <laughs> so. Um, what was this intense conversation about? What was the focus? Purple guy, A.K.A. William Afton. Specifically, what would Purple guys like? How would? Oh, sorry. It's kind of hard to focus when he's looking at me. Um, what would William Afton, purple guy, what would his role be in the new Fazbear crew's life? How would he be a part of it? So, thus, Time to Talk became a very emotional story, for sure. It's a very heated argument between Scott, who has a huge soft spot for William. William is his best friend since they were kids, and Golden, who has seen a side of William that Scott has not seen before. <laughs> the short and sweet summary of it is that Scott is hopelessly devoted to William's innocence, quote unquote, about the whole thing. He thinks there's a logical explanation for everything. Yeah. Golden ends up opening Scott's eyes. That's all I'll say on that. I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all. So that's where Time to Talk is kind of this little offshoot of Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie. We will come back to that story. That story's gonna come back in November. I'll explain why in a little bit. I have to wait till the end to find out. Now, I wanna tell you guys some background story of Time to Talk. Also, also some background story about Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie. So initially, Time to Talk wasn't actually its own comic. When it's when it started in October, it was actually just chapters of the um, Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie. And during that editing process, and also I kind of realized, actually, let me rephrase. So I I was editing through the comic. I was writing things. I was checking things out. I do that a lot, where I go back through older videos and I edit them and make them pretty and clean. So I'm always changing and updating things. I realized that in Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie, Spring Bonnie was hardly in the comic, like at all. And I was like, uh, gotta fix this, <laughs> literally. I'm like, I gotta fix that. <laughs> and I also realized that there had been multiple chapters in a row about Scott and Golden having this really intense conversation. And I was looking at the map for the story and I realized if I kept going, I was gonna finish this comic with Spring never showing up in there. And I was like, mm, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I named it Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie's for Bowtie. Spring is going to be in this story. But I didn't want to rush the conversation between Scott and Golden. So, with a little editing magic, I gave Scott and Golden their own comic, Time to Talk. So Time to Talk isn't actually necessary viewing in the comic for it to make sense. Like, um, because essentially what happens in, you don't, like you can view it if you want i would highly recommend it i'm very proud of it i'm honestly i'm actually really proud of all the comics that i did even a all of my comics here even though some of them i watch them and i'm like i wish i did this differently <laughs> but they're my comics and i'm proud of them i'm proud for all the work i've done with them so technically for canon wise if you like you really don't like mellow dramatic dramatic emotional conversations especially um conversations about panic attacks kids being unalived and like, you know, a lot of concerning stuff like murder and typical stuff like that. Sorry, Poe. Poe is on his belly. He needs to love. Yes, he does. Here, actually, one second. See, how can I resist? Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Me. Hello. 
Hi. <laughs> Okay, we're back from the puppy cuddle break because the Mr. Man is such a good boy. Yes, he is. Um, but yeah, so general content warnings for time to talk. There is, um, a, it's emotional for sure. It's a lot. It's very melodramatic. It involves a lot of, um, it's very, Scott's very bullheaded about how William is innocent and Golden doesn't expressly say what's wrong for a minute. And it does include talks of um, panic attacks, how to handle, how, how you can treat some panic attacks. There's a lot of the, so it's a more intense comic. I totally recognize that. Spring Bonnie's, Spring Bonnie's Red Bowtie, actually the comics, the comic, the chapters that are going to be coming up in November, going to get a lot more nicer, more fluffier. I wrote them, I wrote some of them actually at the same time as I was writing Time to Talk, because I was like, I need some fluff, I need some fluff, I need some fluff. So Spring Bonnie's The Red Bowtie is going to have a couple of really fluffy chapters. Because I'm like, I needed fluff, I needed fluff, I needed fluff. But um, Time to Talk also gave me the space where I got to talk about Spring, Spring Bonnie. I got to talk about his transition. So yes, my Spring Bonnie is a trans man, and I am so proud of that. I also got to talk about Fredbear. I love Fredbear. He's such a fun character, which is very annoying because I love him very very much but I never write him mostly because so on my Instagram page so fun fact I have an Instagram page it's um the name of it is oh dot ship like s h i p 30 33 <laughs> I post comics there every Wednesday and I'm still trying to do that every week but on that comic, I have what's currently is the Nightmare comic. So the Nightmare comic is where I essentially, with the Nightmare animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Favorite FNAF game, hands down. Although Security Breach might be like a close second. Uh, even, well, FNAF 4 still wins, I'm sorry. Sister location. Okay, I like a lot of the FNAF games, I really should specify. Um. But in the, so on my Instagram page, once a week, I post the Nightmare, uh, I post about the Nightmare comic. That comic has been going on for years. I eventually need to figure it out. And initially, and Fredbear is a part of that cast. Like, he is going to eventually show up more in the comic. And he did for a minute. But I realized as I was writing the comic for the, actually, slide tangent. So in the Nightmare comic, there's a big part of it that actually happens before Fredbear isn't even introduced to the characters. So I did some little story magic. <laughs> Basically, I had it where another character is telling this to a different one. So we go back in time and we're seeing what happened because I don't quite have Fredbear in the story yet. He will be soon, but just please know I love that cranky gold bear i love him so much goldie is my favorite character so of course i made him a twin i made, like him and fredbear are twins i love fredbear i love his design I, I like like i love my personal design for him i love the actual canon design of him i love fredbear he's also shipped with my all with one of my all-time favorite finance of freddy's characters nightmare nightmare is my favorite character i love him this is a this is not connected to the time to talk at all <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it is, it is. Uh, to finish time, the uh, close end of time to talk, I got to write two chapters. One just about Spring Bonnie and then one just about Fredbear. And in those chapters and, shush, come here, come here. Poe really wants attention, but I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film this, I'm gonna talk to y'all, I'm gonna do this. In those chapters, I gotta explore what the Fazbear Diner was like. I gotta talk about a very idealized version of it, mind you. But um, I gotta talk about that. And I gotta talk about Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. And it was really, really fun. I love these characters. I don't know if I'm ever gonna, oh my goodness, the accent. I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back and have a Fazbear Diner comic. Mostly because it's been told so much in background. And there's actually a whole little mini comic with Bonnie where actually in the adventures of, ba of Bonnie, the baby Bonnie, I'm 90% positive. It's been a minute since I wrote that comic. Um, but there's actually a time where we see a lot of them. We see a lot of the diner. 
to the point where actually if you read, if you get to look through the Adventures of Finding David Bunny, all these comics, you'll actually get like a mini, little mini comic in there where you learn about the Fazbear Diner. At least my version of it, mind you. <laughs> very, very much not fully canon at all. I had a lot of fun with it. But Time to Talk gave me that space. Hi, hi, baby, I'm recording. I'm talking to our cupcakes. But I was like, I don't care. I want attention. I want attention. <laughs> Time to Talk gave me the space where I got to talk shamelessly about Golden Freddy, Goldie, who has been one of my favorite by one of my favorite FNAF characters for ages. He was like in the original game. He was the cool like go like Easter egg thing. He was the cool thing like. Like, the It's Me, the 1980, 1987, that was all him. And that was so cool, and I love that. I love Golden Freddy. So getting to do a comic just about him was really, really fun. Especially, so Time to Talk um, was just... <laughs> time to Talk was really, really fun. And initially, the whole reason why Scott and Golden have this conversation... So, also, out. Oh. Remember that, and remember my Instagram page that I mentioned earlier? So my Instagram page has actually featured all of these comics, except Time to Talk. So Time to Talk is actually a part of the rewrites that I've been doing for um, the Adventures of Bonnie, the Baby Bunny, and onward. Actually, same with Spring Bonnie's, the Red Bowtie. A lot of that has been rewrites too. Eventually we'll get back to what I originally drew, but this has all been rewrites. Now, why did I rewrite my, why did I rewrite it? Mostly because, and I don't know if anyone's actually commented about this over the years, but in the original comic where, for the adventures of Bonnie David Bunny, that original comic was on my Instagram page. I wrote it when I was in high school, years ago, may, I got close to like 10 or 11 years now, but I just wrote it and in it, Scott and Golden co-parent the kids. That's always been a thing. And now, when I was writing the story, all I could think about was why did Golden co-parent with Scott? Especially since Scott, it's shown in the comic, in the, my rewrite, in, in both in my rewrites and outside of my rewrites, Scott still has a huge soft spot for Purple. Purple, who's the big bad, who has caused multiple problems to the Fazbear crew. Like, lots of problems, and then also not a very good person. Why would Golden co-parent with someone who is a very, 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 very big blind spot for the big bad of the story? Time to Talk gave me that space to kind of figure out, explore that and understand it. Also, I loved getting to talk about Scott and the kid and his kids and it was just, oh my gosh, I had so much fun. Y'all, this I just gotta pat myself on the back a little bit. I have three big comics on my channel. And I'm here telling you all about this. I have an Instagram page with years of content, mind you, years of comics that I get to talk to you guys about, that I get to celebrate, that I get to pay attention to. I still have the space and freedom where I get to write my comics, where I get to do these wrap ups and I get to do this. That is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I just had, I feel, that just, that makes me really happy. I hope you all have enjoyed Time to Talk To and have enjoyed this very long episode of me rambling. I did, for the record, I did write a script. I did. Have I been glancing up? To, have, I been, <laughs> have I been checking it? Yes. Have I stayed truthful to it? No. <laughs> I've stayed truthful to most of it. Time to Talk was a really fun project, and I really enjoyed getting to, explore, getting to explore more of Scott's character and getting to explore more of Golden. I had a lot of fun with this, and I'm really proud where it ended up. Initially, I did have a rule for like a minute where I only wanted the comics to end at 29 chapters. I have found that rather limiting. I'm gonna try, and I'm, my goal is to never to exceed 29 chapters. It's gonna be right under either, has to either stop at 29 or be under 29. That's the general rule from now on. We will be back to Spring Bonnie's, Spring Bonnie's Red Bowtie, and Scott and Golden will reappear eventually in that, in that book, I think. 
most likely. They will appear eventually. <laughs> and they will be kind of referencing Time to Talk. You don't need to watch, if, if you re let's say you really, really, really don't like Golden or Phone Guy. You don't necessarily need to watch Time to Talk. You can just go back to Spring Bonnie's Red Bowtie, that's okay. They will talk about it a little bit when they get reintroduced to the comic, but that won't be for a while. So we actually won't be going back to Spring Bonnie's Red Bow Tie until November. And there is a reason for it. This September is going to be a little different. It's going to be same thing like this, two videos a week. It's going to be... I'll just tell you a little bit. You're going to get reactions. Well, what? Yeah. You're going to get some reaction videos. You're going to get trailers. You're going to get wrap-ups. Announcement videos. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I am going to tell you all more about that and you're actually going to get one of the first trailer videos in the next one. <laughs> I hope you guys like this and be prepared. There's gonna be two videos a week for a little bit. <laughs> this, sun, this September is gonna be a little different to the lead up in October. Don't worry, if you if you don't if we want if you want to go back to normal, I promise things will the bleh, you'll get your regularly scheduled content back in November. Just in November. September is gonna be a little funny. Well I hope you guys have enjoyed this bit emotional, kind of all around the world comic comic episode. Oh my goodness. Y'all <laughs> Oh my goodness. Someday I'm gonna do a wrap up and it's not gonna be this chaotic, but that day is a not today. <laughs> I hope you all have enjoyed this lovely episode of our show. I hope it was slightly coherent. <laughs> what did you guys think of Time to Talk? Leave your comments down below and I will see you in just a couple of days. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>